Look, I, I've been in government. I, I know stuff. I've been in Buckingham Palace. I know stuff. There's secret passages and stuff. I'm not about to write a book, but I'm amazed he could even be thinking about writing this book. I mean, Russell, the ramifications of this one are still ongoing. Security experts, they've stepped in and they've said spares descriptions of the layout of Royals homes, for instance, could compromise security. Well, indeed, and that, and that rings true. All of the people I've spoken to, former protection officers who, who looked after the royal family, have, have been in absolute despair. I mean, the revelation that Prince Harry, by his own admission, killed 25 Taliban insurgents is, is very, very worrying indeed. I mean, huge, huge operation to keep the royal family and the people on the periphery uh, safe every year, costs an awful lot of money for taxpayers. And here is Harry using it to, uh, to further sales in his book. I mean, I, again, don't think anyone would he was proofreading it because I don't think that would have reached uh, reached publication. But a uh, huge, huge concerns for for the roles over these revelations. And um, it, again, it's just uh, just Harry uh, giving one side of the story, which is which we we've come to expect from him, to be honest. Yeah, I um, mean, there's planning for the coronation. King Charles' coronation is now at full speed, what, 15 weeks away. The latest rumour is there's going to be a royal summit between Harry, the Prince of Wales, and the King to thrash out their differences before the coronation. Do you think that's likely? Well, it's certainly rumoured. Again, I think... The king is leading from the top here, and he's uh, spoken about unity, togetherness. And indeed, we, we saw a little bit of that in his first Christmas message. And uh, the people I've spoken to within the palace have said that he loves he loves both his sons. Of course, this is a terrible situation that's uh, occurred, but I think there is some form of sympathy for Harry for what he has gone through. He's talking about a mental health journey that he's still going through. Uh, and I think yeah, they do kind of need to keep him close because um, if there is another book in the offering and this sort of uh, accusations could even spiral out of control, then they're better to keep him close than uh, to leave him on the outside, perhaps. Yeah, to cuddle him into the firm again, uh, but it might look like he's had a win. That that seems to be some people's views. Well, I, listen, I'm sure there's an, an awful lot of people who say uh, Harry should just be left out in the cold of the Californian sunshine and perhaps that's the best place for him. But uh, I, I'm sure when there's money yeah. on the table, Harry and Meg have got a lot to say. Yeah, well, doesn't that, doesn't that sum it up beautifully? Russell, thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight.